These are my old landscape lights. They're only yellow. They work off of a giant ugly power box and actually they don't work at all. Now I could buy hundreds of dollars worth of replacements and hard wire them back through the yard or I could get these Lumery color changing landscape lights that work completely through my smartphone app and Alexa. Obviously I went with these and we're going to be installing them today. Before I start to sound like an advertisement, and it might be a little too late for that, I have these Lumery products throughout my entire home, from recess lights to the string lights behind me, and now landscape lights here. And I love it because I can control everything through one single app through my smartphone or with Alexa. I've also been running the recess lights by Lumery for a couple of years now, and they still work and function as the day I bought them. This should be quick. Let's get to the project. It's almost Christmas, so I need to get these out stat. Now I have already done one set on this side of my yard and I've tested it now for the past couple of months prior to Halloween. So I had a couple of orange and purple lights here and there shining here and it's worked great along with the string lights over on the porch. You can see I've butchered some of these shrubs. Please come back. This is the side of the house I haven't gotten to yet and my problem here is that these bushes are way overgrown. So I'll have to readjust these lights in the spring when I cut these bushes back. I would ideally want these lights to be in the pine needles like they are over there. For now it's winter and this grass is gonna grow, so I'll just place the strand in the grass knowing I won't have to mow around it. Eventually, I'll get it over there in the pine needles. I'll hide the rest of this cable after I'm done with the strand to make sure this is where I want it. And it looks like I might actually be able to get it to fit in the pine needles and just shine straight up the bushes here. Now the control box here is waterproof, but I'm still trying to hide it underneath, of course a phone call, underneath my railing right here. Let me get this spam caller. Hi, this is Sean. Sorry to the second one today where they just call me and don't say anything and then hang up on me. They called me. Now a couple things here. There is a button on this control box and if you press it, that alone will change the colors. You just won't be able to do a lot of the really cool things with it until you hook it up to your smartphone. So to hook it up to your smartphone, it's really as simple and I'll probably just use the video I have for the string lights because it's exactly the same. But you just hold down the power button on this box, there's only one button, for five seconds until the lights start blinking. And there they are, blinking. You can see my other landscape light is still off and the sun's gone down. My landscape lights do not work. My new ones do. So now I'm gonna shoot over to the phone and put you inside here. Not sure how well this comes up, but you can see landscape lights and it tells me landscape lights and it is pairing. Done. And they stopped blinking. It's asking me how many lights I wanna put on. I have six on here. Red. All kinds of colors. So you can see my greens. Green string lights, red here. I could throw up some blues, maybe just some white. I can do every other color. I can make them flash. I could do all kinds of stuff. So let's see what I'll end up leaving behind. Of course, the neighbors here put me to shame. Look at that, Star Wars. The connection with these lights are waterproof, which is nice because the lights I installed at the Airbnb in the other video required a separate waterproof insulator box like this. So if you want to connect multiple lines, you won't need this. 
These lights come with really good instructions for connectivity, but basically just download the app, ignore the wood stain I can't remove from my screen cover, add a new device, connect everything to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, hold the power button down for five seconds, wait for the lights to blink, and you're connected and ready to mess around with the features. All right, let's go through the app. There's several pre-made scenes you could choose from and edit colors for. You can see mine are set to a Halloween pattern here. You can change the blinking or the dazzle features. Again, change the colors here if you wish. There are normal natural colors to choose from or daylight looks or pick any color you want. Here's purple. You can even mix and match individual light colors. So here's me quickly making a Christmas pattern. These lights are a lot more colorful in person. Imagine taking a picture of a sunset. It never looks as good on camera as it does in person. And once edited, I'm going to save the themes as Halloween and Christmas so I can use them again next year. Looks way cooler in the dark. My camera is kind of brightening things up, but this looks awesome. This is quite possibly my easiest DIY project yet, which I guess is a good thing. There's really not much I could say about what I would improve on this product. They're made out of durable metal. They're heavier duty than I thought. It was extremely easy to hook up to my phone and the cord length was plenty. I did have a little bit of an extension cord. Here's another call. Anyway, I did have to hook up an extension cord here, but it's only about five feet away. And that's just really so I could have the block under a cover and not just fully in the rain, the control box. The only question that I'll answer ahead of time because I know it'll get asked is how far away from the house can you put these things? And really it's the same as if you were to take your laptop outside and try to connect to the Wi-Fi. That's about your same range, I would assume. Mine is probably about, especially over there, 40, 50 feet away from the router box through a brick wall. So you do have quite a bit of room here. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Drop your questions, drop your comments down below, hit the like button. I'll see you on the next video.